Hello students and welcome back to the final lesson of section 3 in our AS level psychology course. Today we're going to be looking at daycare. What is daycare? Daycare is childcare that takes place away from the home and the main caregiver of the child. Daycare can affect the children in many ways but it mainly affects their two main qualities in which can be social skills and aggression. There are many studies which can show how daycare has actually manipulated the way in which children behave towards other peers and how aggressive they do behave. The social skills. Clark Stewart showed that those who spent more time in daycare had worse levels of social competence. This means that the more time they spent away from the main caregiver and their home, the worse levels of social competence they got when they grew up. Clark Stewart also showed that those who spent more time in smaller classes were likely to develop more type C attachments and be less social. In daycares where more staff spent more time with each child, the children had higher levels of social competence when they were older. However, Anderson disproved this and showed that children who began daycare before the age of one had better levels of social competence. Now, this disproves kind of Clark Stewart's ideas and a lot of the research in daycare is disputed because one study can go against the other and there are limitations to this which we're going to see in our evaluation. You may be asked to evaluate research into daycare, so be sure to say that a lot of these can contradict each other. Now we're going to look at research into the aggression from people in daycare. Belsky showed that those who spent more time in daycare per day would become more aggressive when they're older. Haskins showed that children who began daycare before the age of one were also more aggressive, unlike that of Anderson. Children in classes with less staff became more aggressive than those with more. So now we're going to evaluate the research into daycare and all the findings of these different psychologists. Sample sizes are generally invalid. That's because most people who attend daycare come from wealthy families. The families have the money to pay for the daycare, so the children go there. As a result, the poorer families who have children go accounted for, and this isn't an easy way to generalize to the total population. Also, research in daycare doesn't measure prior history. Medical conditions or abuse in the womb due to smoking or perhaps drug use could have led the children to have sort of impacted social skills and aggression. Also, all studies look at different cultures. The results may be different in these different cultures because the way that they were raised is going to be different in each culture, hence making them maybe more aggressive or more socially competent with other people because of the way they were raised, not because they were put in daycare. And also when interviewing mothers, they may lie and be subject to evaluation apprehension because most of the information they got was from an interview with mothers about their child's social competence and aggression levels. Here are some questions on daycare. Be sure to pause the video and answer these on another sheet of paper and then hit play whenever you're ready to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you got all of these right, congratulations. I'd advise you to move on to the next video, which is going to be on stress. As always, thank you so much for watching and be sure to visit revisealevel.co.uk for information on all of psychology. Thank you and I'll see you soon when we look at stress. Goodbye.